If you're applying to medical school during the 2025 to 2026 admission cycle, we have a major update to share. CASPER, the situational judgment test administered by Acuity Insights, has announced several changes to the format of their exam. Our CASPER format and scores explained video gives an in-depth overview of what to expect on the test, but this video will give you all of the updates and insights you need to be fully prepared to ace the test for the 2025 to 2026 cycle. By the way, if you wanna be the first to hear all our latest updates and guidance on med school admissions, be sure to like this video, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Okay, so here's what's new. In early 2025, Casper announced that based on a large scale study, they decided to shorten the overall test by 20% while still ensuring that it presents a fair and accurate evaluation of applicants' qualities and abilities. What will that look like on test day? Well, instead of 90 to 110 minutes, the test is now expected to take between 65 and 85 minutes. You'll be provided with an optional 10 minute break following the video response section and a five minute break partway through the typed response section. If the thought of less time to complete the test made your heart skip a beat, don't worry. You won't be expected to do the same amount of work in less time. The number of scenarios you'll encounter on the test is also being reduced from 14 to 11. To break it down further, instead of six video response scenarios, you'll only have to complete four. And instead of eight type response scenarios, you'll only have seven. Whereas the type response scenarios used to have three associated questions, all 11 of the scenarios you'll encounter now, video response and type response, will only have two associated questions. Another big change for the 25-26 admission cycle is the response time allotted for type response scenarios. In the past, you would be given five minutes total to answer all three of the type response questions for a given scenario. Now that there are only two questions for each of the typed response scenarios, your allotted time will be decreased from five minutes to three and a half minutes. More on this point in a moment. The final change you should know about relates to the scoring system. In the past, you would receive a single score for your responses to all of the questions associated with a given scenario. Now, each of your typed responses will be scored individually. Acuity Insights hasn't published any changes to how video response questions will be scored. It appears, therefore, that the video responses will not be individually scored. No changes there. So what does this mean for you as an applicant during the 25-26 admission cycle? Well, don't sweat it too much. These changes are significant, but they won't require you to completely switch up your Casper prep strategies. Out of all these changes, only the type response time limit and scoring changes should really impact your approach to test prep. As you practice, it's important that you mimic the test conditions as closely as possible. That means that for each type response scenario, you should set a timer for three and a half minutes and not allow yourself to go over that limit for any reason. While three and a half minutes doesn't seem like much time, if you divide it evenly between the two responses, you'll actually have slightly more time per response than you would if you were trying to answer three questions in five minutes. That said, you'll need to give equal attention to both of your type responses for a given scenario. With the previous scoring system, if your type response to one question was lacking or incomplete, you could compensate by doing really well on the other two type responses for that scenario, since you would receive an overall score for the full scenario. Now, with each response being scored individually, you'll have less room for error. But that doesn't mean you should fret over spelling and grammar. Raters will still use the same criteria to score your test, so what's most important is that you answer each question thoroughly and with the Casper evaluation qualities in mind. If you need a refresher, those qualities are collaboration, communication, empathy, equity, ethics, motivation, problem solving, professionalism, resilience, and self-awareness. If you want to learn more about how to ace Casper, be sure to check out our deep dive video, How to Ace the Casper Test, which shares example questions and answers along with key strategies for high performance. And if you're ready to start practicing today, check out our Casper Mastery course to access high quality training videos, several full length practice exams that will prepare you for just about anything the real test could throw at you, and one-on-one -on -one feedback on a practice exam. Best of luck.